The potential side effect of GMOs, according to experts, include allergic reactions, environmental side effects, including suspicion of causing damages to essential living organisms in the soil. All no long-term health implications on, on consumers, ladies and gentlemen, and mental and ethical control and even corporate control. Now, the corporate control aspect is even more a major issue of discussion right now. In the sense that GMOs don't have the ability to reproduce their own seeds over time. That is a fact in many instances. Therefore, once the seeds are planted, new seeds will be needed for a new season. Which means you have to depend on government or suppliers for supply. Which also means government or suppliers will determine who to sell to or supply to and who not to supply to. And therefore, there will be control. This is a whole conversation being had around the world. There are civil society groups in Nigeria pushing against this, such as GMO Free Nigeria Alliance, HOMEF, and ERA, who have demanded a nationwide moratorium or ban on GMOs. But their voices aren't being heard at this point. They cite threats of food sovereignty, farmer autonomy, and alleged health and environmental risk, ladies and gentlemen. But the government isn't listening. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we have to protect what we have at all costs by ourselves. The European farmers have stood up against this. Many countries that are developed in the world are not allowing it. In their farms, in their countries, we the black people should also do the same. Don't sell your organic seeds after harvest. Don't sell them all. Keep them. Don't give out away your food security for money, ladies and gentlemen. Our health matter and our food sovereignty is up to us to control. Don't leave it in the hands of government because they don't even eat what we eat. Take care of yourself before it's too late.